everyone. So today we're going to be talking about post trotting. So if you're new to horseback riding and maybe you just started trotting, you may find it really difficult to do. But what we're going to talk about today will make trotting so much more pleasant and comfortable. So before we get started, our fun question for the week is what color do you think looks best on your horse? So I'd have to say I like this green with Tucker and also a light blue. So just comment below what color you think looks best on your horse and also remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you find it helpful. So what is post trotting? When you watch someone trotting on their horse, the main way you're going to be able to tell if the rider is post trotting is if it looks like they're standing up and sitting down with the movement of their horse. So they're going to rise and sit with the horse's gait of the trot. So when you watch a horse trot, you'll notice that the trot is a one-two beat. So that means the horse steps with the beat of one, two, one, two, one, two. So when you post trot, you're going to move with the beat of the horse. So you're going to rise for a beat and then sit with the beat. So when you post trot, you actually have more control of your own movements. So we all know sit trotting can be a little difficult and it can feel hard to kind of get a hold of yourself. So when you post trot, you'll be able to control yourself a lot more easily and you're also going to allow your horse to move more freely too. By taking your weight up, they'll be able to extend through their back and move like they should. So when you want to rise with the stride of the horse, all you're going to do is rotate your hips forward and when you want to sit, you're going to just rotate your hips back. So you can feel if you put your hands on your hips and you practice just rotating forward and sitting, forward and sitting. You can feel how your hips are moving. So another slightly confusing aspect of post trotting is you need to be rising and falling with a specific leg of the horse. So when this leg goes up, you rise and when it goes down, you go down. So this is called the diagonal and usually the right diagonal is going to be the outside leg. So if you're in arena, uh, you're going to follow the outside leg, so the leg that's on the fence line and you want to make sure you're rising with that leg and falling with that leg. So I'll demonstrate at a walk and then I'll do a trot. Let's say we're on the outside. This is my outside here. And if you watch this outside leg rise and fall, ready? So if I was posting at the walk, I would rise and sit with it, which feels weird at the walk. And I'm getting a little off. But the thing is you can actually glance down at the shoulder and be able to tell if you're on the right diagonal. So if I pick up my trot, I can look at that outside shoulder and I'm rising and falling with it. Good boy, he's throwing his head to the bug. Okay, so I'm on the right diagonal, so this leg that's on the outside. When I change direction, I need to change my diagonal. So I'll come around here and what I'm gonna do is sit twice. So one, two, and now I changed it and I'm back on the right outside. So that's outside now. So again, just to clarify, if you want to change your diagonal, you're just going to sit for two strides. So learning to post trot is actually great for learning rhythm because you have to be able to count through that rhythm. So one, two, one, two, change my diagonal, sit twice, and then you can start counting again. So now we're going to share some tips that can help you improve your post trotting. So if you're new to horseback riding, post trotting may seem really complicated in the beginning, but as you continue to ride, it will get easier. So I'm just going to share some tips real quick that will help make post trotting easier to understand and easier to do. If you have a hard time just finding the rhythm of your horse's trot, something you can do is literally count to yourself the beats of their trot. So if I pick up the trot here, And I can count one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. He's a pony, so it's a lot faster. But one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. And you can count like that, and that's going to help you get that rhythm. And so once you have the rhythm in your head, it's going to be easier to get the rhythm with your seat. So one thing a lot of riders struggle with in the beginning is if you're learning to post trot, it's hard for them to keep their lower legs still. So they may trot and they may be swinging like this, you know, <laughs> but you want your legs still and this allows you to keep your lower leg on. So if you have a hard time, you find yourself swinging like this, you probably are pinching with your knees because when you pinch with your knees, you kind of lose all control of your lower leg. So it's important just to remember you're wrapping your legs around the horse and this will help make keeping your lower leg still a lot easier. 
So when you first learn to post trot, you may feel like you need to keep your hands kind of level with your body. So you'll be like this and your hands will go up and go down and see he doesn't like that. He wants to move. But ideally your hands can just stay still. So one thing you can do if you have trouble with this is just grab some mane with one hand and that will help keep your hand secure. It doesn't hurt the horse if you're pulling on their mane, but it'll just help keep your hand in that place. So our next point is for those of you who feel like you have a hard time like getting out of the saddle when you're post trotting. So one reason that may be, if I start walking here, is that your legs are too far in front of you. So if you feel like you're pitched back and you kind of have to like pull yourself up like this, <laughs> poor Tucker's getting mad at me because I'm pulling out his mouth like that, but if you're sitting like that, you usually have to pull on the horse's mouth. So you want to make sure you're keeping your legs under you and that's going to make it a lot more easier to stand up in your stirrups compared to if they're sticking out here or even if you're like this because then you're just going to fall forward like that. So our next point is for those riders who feel like you're sitting too hard on the horse's back. So if this is you, you can probably hear yourself sitting down back in the saddle. And this is usually because you're using your weight to push yourself forward and push yourself back rather than just relying on the movement of your hips. If you want to like soften your seat a little bit, it's important just to remember to move from your hips and also use that control of your body that you now have to sit lightly on your horse's back. So if you got something from this video today, please like it and also subscribe to our channel for more weekly horse videos.